Hey Hoopheads, today I want to talk to you about Kawhi's first game against his former team since they won the championship together last season. One of the things I found most noteworthy was that Kawhi shot 2 for 11, and that's a bad shooting percentage, but the thing that shocked me the most was the 11 field goal attempts. So far this year, Kawhi has put up at least 17 field goal attempts in every single game he's played. Only twice last year did he drop below 11 field goal attempts, and those were both in blowout wins where he played less than 25 minutes. So holding him to just 11 shots is quite a feat. Let's see how the Raptors did it. From the jump, the Raptors strategy was very obviously to double Kawhi every time he touched the ball. They went at him with active hands, swarming him every time he stepped into the lane, cutting off passing angles, watch him pursue him out to the half court line here. Just really great effort, great hustle, with this aggressive defense, the Raptors were able to force nine turnovers, which is a career high for Kawhi Leonard. The only person who could handle Kawhi one-on-one -on -one a little bit was Rondé Hollis Jefferson. He did a great job of getting low, moving his feet, keeping his hands active, using his strength against Kawhi, and could sort of keep him in check. In situations where the Raptors didn't force a turnover, Kawhi did a pretty good job of getting rid of the ball, throwing it to the weak side, and getting his teammates open shots or easy buckets. Not all these shots went in, but he did a good job of distributing the ball. And part of the Raptors' strategy was if Patrick Beverly and Patrick Patterson and Mo Harkless are going to shoot open threes and beat us, we'll let it happen. One of the other things that can happen when you play an aggressive trapping defense like this is that you can get out of position and your rotations get messed up so that when a shot goes up, sometimes you're not in good position to box out. The Raptors were out rebounded 66 to 38 in the game. That's a difference of 24 rebounds, which is pretty wild. And they got out rebounded on the offensive end 20 to five, which is unbelievable. 20 offensive boards is great. And that's a result of the Raptors scheme. But the Raptors weren't the only ones with great defense. The Clippers did a great job of rotating, putting pressure on the ball, cutting off passing angles, getting their hands in there, getting deflections, and using their length to protect the rim. Somebody with great length on the Clippers is Evita Zubats. The last couple games, he's impressed me with the way he's been able to move his feet, extend out, challenge shots without fouling, and be an inside presence for the Clippers in their starting lineup. He stops the drive, but not only does he stop the drive, he blocks a dunk. The other person who did a great job protecting the rim was Montrez Harrell. He's maybe not the best help side defender, but when he gets switched on to a little guy, he's able to move his feet, and even if he gets beat, he can recover and get quite a few blocks. He locked down Fred Van Bleed a little bit. He had a nice switch out onto Norm Powell. I was really impressed with what he was able to do in switches. The other person I found really impressive was Mo Harkless. The Clippers used him on Fred Van Vliet a fair bit, and Fred struggles against larger defenders like this. It wasn't just Fred struggling though, as even Siakam had a bit of trouble against the longer Harkless. Overall, I was impressed with both teams in this game. The Raptors played great defense, had a nice scheme against Kawhi, the Clippers play great defense themselves, especially Montrez and Harkless. And I'm excited to see these two teams match up again in December. And hopefully at that point, the Raptors will be a little healthier. The Clippers will have Paul George back and we'll just see an epic defensive battle for the ages. Thanks for watching. And if you want to see more videos like this, hit that subscribe button and let me know what you thought of this game in the comments.